We're going to begin this hour with uh, actor Stephanie Hsu, who's being described actually as Hollywood's new it girl, skyrocketed to fame in her breakout role in the visionary film Everything Everywhere All at Once. That was just last year, and her performance landed her an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Well, now she's taking on a different role in the R-rated comedy Joyride. Nancy Chan spent the day with Shu at a farm in Brooklyn, New York, not a typo, to talk about her childhood, her passion for acting, and her love of agriculture. What advice would you give young actresses? Find your people. Think less about climbing and success, but find the people that you love working with. Find your community. Part of Stephanie Shu's community is here at Oco Farms in Brooklyn. These this is huge. awesome! <laughs> this is the best day ever! <laughs> High praise from someone with plenty of good days lately. This is my happy place for sure. I've always been really passionate about agriculture. I worked on a farm upstate, and then when I was living in the city, it felt really important to me to find spaces like this and communities that were growing. I think you're known for a lot of things. I don't know if agriculture <laughs> is among those. For the Deep Cut fans, <laughs> they know. They know that I am, um, I find it to be the most grounding, centering thing. Shu credits farming for providing peace. Working in an industry that is so forward-facing, um, it's so important to kind of nourish your internal home and your center. So much. It's been especially vital in a year that included an Oscar nomination for her role in the film Everything Everywhere All at Once, which won Best Picture. Is it that I can't be here? Or that I'm not allowed <laughs> to be here? Hey, okay. <laughs> That night, we made history, and I feel like for the first time, the Asian community and the Asian community within the film industry was truly solidified and woven into the quilt of cinema history. The moment once seemed beyond reach for a six-year-old who fell in love with acting. As you know, we just didn't see a lot of ourselves on screen growing up, so I never really thought of it as an actual career trajectory. In some ways, I like to joke that it set me up for a lot of success, actually, because my standards were very low. <laughs> Shu was born near Los Angeles and raised by a single mother who immigrated from Taiwan. You've said in describing your childhood that you have to be excellent in order to survive in this world that was not built for you. Mm. What do you mean by that? I think that any marginalized group has felt the need to be extra excellent because in order to cut through, to have a seat at the table, or at least that's the narrative that we were taught growing up, I'm grateful for that in some ways because I think it pushes me harder. So when you told your mom that you wanted to be an actress, what did she say? Well, what did your mom say to you when you said you wanted to be a reporter? Why don't you go into business instead? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I actually, the morning after the Oscar nomination, someone emailed my mom. They were like, don't you remember when you brought Stephanie over to our house so that we could try to convince her to study business? Aren't you glad that she didn't? The 32-year-old instead started her career in experimental theater. She went on to originate Karen the Computer in SpongeBob SquarePants, the Broadway musical before a supporting role on The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. They just assumed your club would fail. Why? Because you're a Jewish ex-plastic salesman who suddenly opened a club in Chinatown with an English to Chinese dictionary from the 1800s. Now, along with Ashley Park, Shu gets top billing in her new movie, Joyride. Night, how I wonder, please make him real how I'll pray. A raunchy yet heartfelt tale of one woman's search for her birth mother in China as her friends tag along. I am a good Christian girl saving myself for marriage. Wait, what? wait, 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 wait. You two. Joyride is a film with four Asian American leads. It also has Asian American women who are writing and directing it. What difference does that make? I think the biggest difference that it made was that we just felt so safe. I like to say we knew we weren't going to be the butt of any joke. We were just four butts and four jokes. <laughs> because, you know, sometimes you walk into spaces, if you don't know that your creatives have a shared experience, sometimes on accident even, things that are not meant to be offensive can be quite harmful. And as Shu herself hopes to tackle producing and directing next, she says she wants to expand that community. 
I never thought that this was possible. And so the deeper work actually is going within myself and untangling all those knots and realizing that those narratives were placed on us to keep us small and at bay intentionally. So yeah, it's it's kind of finding the courage to actually be in your full bloom, as it were. What would you tell your younger self mm. if you could say something? I think I would have told my younger self, it's okay to love art. I think I fought it for a really long time because I didn't know if it was actually something that was possible for me really, and I look back now and I wish I just allowed myself to love it sooner. Hmm, oh, good. Look at Stephanie Shu, you, Stephanie Shu, and you go, I want to hang out with her. Oh, yeah, sure. She seems so fun. Nancy, thank you so much. Yeah, I liked her. It's a great piece. It uh, makes me want to see the movie. Yeah, that yeah. new movie described as uh, raunchy yet heartfelt. <laughs> heartfelt. <laughs> uh, it's called Joyride. It's in theaters tomorrow. But I, yeah. I love uh, her parents kind of acknowledging in the anecdote there that maybe when you have a kid who wants to be an actor, yeah. it's not a joyride at first because you're worried for them. You're like, yeah. why don't you try business? Yes. Well, turning out pretty well right now. Yes. Yeah, like what she said, definitely. she said things that aren't meant to be offensive can be harmful. harmful. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's when yeah. you don't have diversity or representation yep. in front of and behind the camera somewhere. Um, even though it's not meant to hurt your feelings, it can be. I know exactly harmful. what that Absolutely. means by that and how she described the movie Four Butts and Four Jokes. Stephanie, <laughs> should you go? I can't yeah. wait to see the movie. That was good. Cheering you on.